Okay, so I'm entering, or I'm knocking on the door, I'm entering the room, I'm introducing myself. Hello, I'm Abby, today I'm going to be a CNA. I'll be dressing and undressing you. Um, I'm going to identify my patient, make sure that the names match on the wristband. I'm going to ask her when her birthday is, as a second sign of identification. Um, I'm going to wash my hands, I'm going to collect a bath blanket and whatever my patient decides to wear that day. Um, I'm going to ask a coworker to help me position my patient into supine position. I'm going to close the curtain for privacy, and I'm going to cover her with a bath blanket and fan fold the linens down to the end of the bed. So I will be talking about um, a different ways that you have to undress a person. So the first one is um, if the garments are open in the back. So let's say the zipper, the buttons. Um, snaps or ties are in the back um you'll be undoing whatever it is and then you'll bring the side of the garment to the um to the side of the person and then um you'll make sure that she's in a supine position and then you'll side the garment off of the strong side first and then you will remove it from the weak side then if you're removing um clothes from the front then you'll take the zipper or you'll undo the zipper, the um, ties, the um, buttons, whatever. Um, and then you'll slide the garment off the shoulder and the arm on the strong side, arm first. And then you'll remove it from the weak side. And then if you have to remove it from pullover, like it's a pullover sweatshirt or something, um, you'll undo ties if it's tightened for some reason um you'll make sure all of that is undone first and then you'll remove the garment from the strong side so um you'll make sure that the head and shoulders are raised and um i'll bring the garment over the head uh starting from the strong side and then from the weak side and then i will replace the my patient into the supine position and then another one is to remove pants um you'll remove shoes and socks first and then uh you'll make sure the person is obviously in supine position um you'll undo button zippers um maybe it's velcro whatever it is you'll make sure that that is undone first and um if they have a belt on you'll remove that um i'm going to have my patient lift its butt off of the bed um and slide the pants down over the hips first Obviously, you can't take pants off any other way, um, but yes, from the hips down, um, and then you will just pull them all the way down, and they'll be off, and then so um, you have to do uh, over the feet. You want to like not bend the foot as much, so just be careful on that, and then um, now we'll be dressing the person. So, to put on garments that open in the back, I'm going to slide the garment on the arm of the weak side first, and then the strong side, and I'm going to make sure that the person's head is raised and the shoulders are raised, and I'm going to bring the sides to the back. Um, I'm going to uh, do the zippers, buttons, um, fasten everything, and then I'm going to reposition my patient into supine position. And then if I'm putting on garments that open in the front, I'm obviously going to put the garment on the weak side first and then the strong side. And then I'm going to make sure the head and shoulders are raised. I'm going to bring the garment to the front, um, fasten the zippers, buttons, um, et cetera, whatever it is to put the shirt together. Um, and then I'm going to if it's a pullover garment, I'm going to put the garment on the weak side first. And then the or I'm going to make sure the head and shoulders are raised. I'm going to put the garment over the head and then put the strong side through the other arm. Um, to put on pants, I'm going to slide the pants over the feet, up the legs. I'm going to have the person, um, patient, raise its butt. Um, to put it over the hips um, and then I'm going to bring the pants over the butt also um, and then I'm going to put on socks non-skid footwear 
um, making sure that the socks are comfortable and that they're all the way up, they're not going to fall off. And then I'm going to um, help the person get out of bed. Um, and if the person stays in the bed, cover the person. Um, so then that is how you dress and undress a person. So then I'm going to ask my patient if she's comfortable, if she needs anything else from me today. I'm going to place the call light next to her. Um, I'm going to lower the bed to a safe position or whatever the care plan says. Um, <coughs> I'm going to um, remove the privacy curtain. I'm going to check the room for safety, make sure that nothing can harm my patient, like sharp objects, or a toothbrush, toothpaste, um, mouthwash, etc. I'm going to, whatever clothing that I removed, I'm going to follow the policy to discard of it. And then I'm going to wash my hands and I'm going to leave the room to report and record my observations.